Well, Gav, a point here at Meadow Lane, which we would have probably taken first thing this morning. Tonight, are we a tad disappointed? Yeah, it's a strange one, really. Um, you know, we are speaking about it after. We probably would have taken a point before the game, the form they've been on, and did a good result the other night, 4-0. Um, you know, they're a good side, and I have no doubt they'll be there, they're about to come the end of the season, so... We probably would have taken a point, but look, the way the game went, we were 2 0 up, playing some really good stuff. We looked comfortable. Um, I can see the a bad goal probably at the wrong time as well, right before half time. I think maybe if we got in 2 0 at half time, it might have been a different game. But uh, look, it's, it's, it is what it is. We're a bit deflated, but a point away from that's kind of a good point. And that first half performance, like you said, it was brilliant. I mean, we I enjoyed watching it. What was it like to be in, in the midst of it? Yeah, re- yeah, enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Same as last week. Um, you know, we had a we had a game plan how we wanted to play. Um, you know, and that's two weeks on the spin. Obviously, the game plans. You know, it's 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 worked. Um, so you have to give the flawless to Swedes and Gucky for impl- implementing that and us going out and and doing it on the pitch. So um, yeah, it worked. We felt comfortable and played some really good stuff as well. Um, just shame we couldn't get the result. We had a great platform as well, didn't we? I, th- I don't think they've conceded a league goal here since yeah. August. It took you seven minutes today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone actually told me that just after the game, um, which obviously just shows what a good side they are and you know uh, what tough place this is is to come to. So um, you know we've we've got two goals today and we could have probably had more. Um, but uh, yeah, look, it's it's a good point on the road. Talk us through your goal. Um, I think it was just. I think Roy got down the right, put a good cross in, and just popped out to me. And I just had to concentrate and getting a good connection, hit the target. Um, Swings is always drilling onto myself and Hawks and rest of the midfielders hit the target because uh, you never know what's going to happen. And it took a slight nick and um, zipped up off the surface, and I think I found the corner then. So it's happy, happy days, yeah. And it was a deserved second goal when it came, and a wonderful worked goal wasn't it and I think the lads must I know what the lads think of Luke James mm. in there they'll be thrilled for him to get his goal yeah I'm buzzing for him really am um, because he's just every day in training he he works so hard like he really does um, and you know even though he hasn't been getting the goals that he probably wants to get himself he's he's still been contributing massively and he's a he's a massive uh, massive player for us um, but yeah he's took his goal really well it didn't look like he hadn't scored in, no, in a while ruthless, it was, you know, yeah. rootless confident finish so Hopefully he can kick on now and get a few more. And just a final word for the fans, they were sensational again today. Yeah. Unreal, different class. Like it's just you're going over at the end, you're seeing how many's there. You just can't get your head around it. Um, and just all in all, you look at this this game today and you're thinking, how is it a conference game? Yeah. It's 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 mad, really. And you know our fans have been brilliant home and away this year. So um, hopefully we can keep giving them uh, more to shout about as the season goes on.